What's good everybody? It's Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com. The second time recording the audio on this because I was just sloppy Joe on the last one. But you'll never know that because I deleted the last one and started over. Anyway, we're going to show you how to install tack strip around the room in this video. And you may be noticing that the carpet padding is already down. This is because Prestige Carpet got to the job site before I got to the job site and I had all the tack strip and he had all the padding. So rather than sit around, wait and lose time, he went ahead Head and started padding the room so that's a little hack trick for you installers there no excuses keep things moving if there's no strip down or you're waiting on supplies do something anyway so he was able to pad everything and basically cut a channel out around the room so when I show up here I'm able to just drop the tack strip in in place of that channel and we're good to go everything keeps moving forward so back to the tips here when installing the tack strip you want the little tiny nails on the tack strip to be angled towards the wall this is going to catch your carpet when you stretch onto it and as far as the space in between the baseboard and the tack strip you want about a quarter inch gap there or you could just use a fingertip each spot you know just tuck your fingers in there and then you know that's the proper gap any more than that it won't get a nice clean tuck and any less than that it could be difficult to tuck so either way it could create ugly installation problems now right here you noticed I had to lift up the padding a little bit to set this piece of tack strip no big deal once I get this strip installed I could go back around with my knife and do any fine-tuned trimming and touch-ups things like that so we can go ahead and bring the carpet in and do our thing now, as far as cutting tack strip, you could use 10 strips. Um, they actually make specific tack strip cutters. I think it's a waste of money. So use 10 snips, or I just like to smack it with a hammer where it needs to get cut in at, and then I'm good to go. So you can see where I trimmed the pad out there where we had the little overlap. I'm working my way around the room in full fast forward now. And maybe we will catch a scene of me breaking tack strip with the hammer there to save time, energy, and all that fun back and forth. So work your way or all the way around the room once you have the full perimeter installed and some areas where we're going to do our hard stretching doubled up to make sure it really grabs it, you're good to go. You could bring the carpet in and start doing your thing. Now if you have any questions about the carpet and flooring industry, please comment below. You know I'll create a follow-up video answering any questions for you as long as it's possible. I always appreciate that. And right now we're in the upstairs hallway here. You can see the railing there. It's actually a modern railing that they installed in this house and this was an old school property that they're doing a full renovation on so I thought that was kind of a cool touch to it but same principles everywhere whether you're in the bedroom the hallway uh, living room dining room whatever the case is just run your tack strip all the way around the perimeter catching every bit of it and that will ensure you have the proper setup for a good carpet installation so thank you so much for tuning in I appreciate connecting as always and I will connect with you on the next video